Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another Dragon Ball Dokken battle video. And in today's video, we are hopping into Margin Boo Saga category battle, Super Battle Road. And we have a no item run. So, in the wake of the Gohan banner, I did actually uh, hop back in and do a couple more multis and got some just ridiculous luck. Managed to walk away with a Gohan. Uh, I walked away with two dupes for the Supreme Kai. Um, end up rainbowing Beerus and Piccolo, and it was just, it was just, it was a good time, like, com like, if you guys watch my 10, 10 multi video, if you compare the two, like, I did better in 8 multis than I did in that entire 10, and by, like, better than that, I, like, did just destroyed that, so, uh, I thought, hey, let's, why not just hop into Super Battle Road against the Margin Boost Saga with these new units, and the, uh, worldwide celebration units and let's just let's get a no item done a run done so on turn one we take a super for 22k it's with type advantage but it just shows how monstrous this goku and vegeta unit is we also have the um pickle boo from the end of the celebration as well as well as the vegeta unit so um i think the only unit that i'm not using from like a local celebration is like I can't remember what was my other unit. I oh, know it'll turn up. I only did this run tonight. That's so bad. I can't even remember. Um, but this boot tanks as well is just insane. Yeah, they're all go on. Yeah, they're all units that have just come out in like the last sort of what two months, three months. So good indication of the power creep. Um, there are a lot of other really good units you can use to, uh, take on this Subaru Road, like the, um, Majin Buu Gohan, the, um, Majin Buu Saga Gohan, the Super Saiyan one. Uh, he would work really, really well here. Uh, the Evil Boo would work really, really well here. Um, there's a couple of, like, really good units that I could have bought as well, but I thought, you know, let's just use these new units and, like, this event, like, granted, is fairly old now. So, these new units should be just clapping it, and as you can sort of see, like, these units just have no issues whatsoever. Like, we've got so much stun, we've got so much ceiling, we've got so much damage, like, we've got healing, like, this team is just bananas. Wait till you see, like, when you get the Gohans, on, uh, not the Gohans, when the, you get the Boos on rotation together, uh, they end up healing, like, 100k per turn, it's something absolutely just ludicrous. But let's, um, you are number one. Beautiful active skill. Uh, this Vegeta actually is really, really good. Um, I don't really awaken his true potential, but we do manage to get to see that, uh, uh, ultra partner attack at the end of the fight. So being a no item run, I did want to sort of like work out what the best options were. Um, I did chuck Vegeta in the front here, which was a bit silly. Like, I should have chucked the uh, Goku and Vegeta unit. They're just, they're just way better defensively. We end up taking a super here, and it's like 220k. Yeah, 223k. Uh, 3.8 from this guy. That's pretty freaking... Uh, he's such a good unit, man. Such a good unit. Um, and then double digits from normals. So, like, you know, so that was pretty good. So it took 223k, and I'm thinking, like, oh, yo, like, that's a lot of damage. I look at my uh, double super in, Jace. Ah, this easily hands down best unit in the game. Like, not even, like, don't even at me. He's hands down the best unit in the game. He's so good. They're so good. Um, what was I saying? Can't remember. <laughs> I'll come back to it. Uh, this, um, this fight against Gohan, Gotenks, and Piccolo was actually bananas. Like, I'd get some stupid shit off in this fight, eh? Like, we end up, I think, killing Piccolo and Gohan in the same turn that we stun Gotenks. So we just end up devouring a whole turn, and he just literally can't do anything. Like, yeah, I, th I swear it's the next turn. We end up just literally wiping the Gohan and the, and the Piccolo, and then we stun the Gotenks, which is just insane like the fact that we just make this stage do absolutely nothing we cop a super with type advantage there so um and it was boo tanks that just took the shot so uh with the pickle boo on rotation for that 50 defense like these two just are like nah 
just sorry you just can't damage us so we end up getting this stun here and that just saves us all the damage from go tanks and then we get a dodge off so we don't take any damage from piccolo so that this like this turn was just phenomenal and then the next turn is just incredible this gohan by the way mine's at 55 percent and he's basically got no links actives uh links active now the frame was rainbowed and i was just like screw it he's gonna do way more damage so i gave him all these psi orbs Shout out to my boy Matty, who was actually like, why would you give all those Psyops to him and not give them to the, the Vegeta? Well, this is why. Because that Goku and Vegeta unit, especially the rainbowed version of them, are just dumb, stupid, like ridiculous. I don't even care that I don't get the Ultra Attack right here, because I can get the Supers with both of them. And this turn, like, just watch, just watch this. Like, the Majin Buu Saga category team is just stupid. So that was 3.9. And we get a crit for 3. like 3.46 mil. We end up killing the Piccolo in one shot. And then we end up critting on the Gohan. So then this Vegeta can kill Gohan with time advantage. So he doesn't get any attacks in. We get an additional attack, which ends up killing him. And then the Gotenks is still stunned. Like this whole turn was just free. And we just like... Eight, literally the whole stage. Now we get the Kibito Kai transformation here. Now we could just put Kibito Kai in the first slot, get the guaranteed stun, and just be just be on with it. But Boo is actually that good. Pickle Boo and um, Boo Tanks. Like, look, we're back to full health as well. By the way, like that's just nuts. We give all those orbs to him. It don't even matter about Supreme Kai in the back because he's gonna get stun off no matter what. Pickle Boo, again, can stun as well. Um, Emphasis on can, because, like, it happens, like, fairly often than not. Um, but he also has the ability to dodge, which, like, seems to be, like, roughly the same. Like, it's pretty high. But I wouldn't say it's, like, super high. So, that turn was just an absolute joke. Managed to just fly through that. Got some mad RNG. Uh, did a hell of a lot of damage, and as you can see, like we're not even close to our Dokken attack, and we're on the last stage. Um, we do break our rotations here, as Gohan is just way better defensively than, than the Vegeta. Um, I sh probably should have given all of those Psy Orbs to the Vegeta there. Shout out to my boy Matty, who again said, what are you doing with all those Psy Orbs? He was probably right on that one. Would have been better to give them to Vegeta, but... Um, the fact that we're versing Margin, the Margin Boost Saga, uh, Super Vegito. Ooh, Super, what did this do? I forget what this does. This is against a 55 cent Gohan, by the way. And 79k. <laughs> what? Dude. Nah. It's nah. That's stupid. Absolutely dumb. The fact that we can just have, like, a Margin, the leader, the... Margin Boo, Saga, Goku, and Vegeta. The things we just have like one of them floating like all the time. Man, it's just nuts. Like this turn here, like I think we link him up with Boo Tanks because they do link like fairly well. Um, but nah, Boo Tanks' defense is way too high. We definitely left him in the front. All those green orbs. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. And then Pickle, like, and Pickle Boo can stun here. Uh, and if we if he stuns here, like it's just like well, I'm not gonna take any damage, ever. But um, I didn't really want to take the risk, so I'm pretty sure I put the Goku and Vegeta unit there to give them a full um, ultra attack because like they're not taking damage. Like let's be real. Like this blue tanks, by the way, um, is raising defense on ultra and then raising attack on super. So if he gets an additional, which he does. He just not only raises his defense, he raises his attack as well. So when he transforms, his multiplier increases by his attack and defense stat. So, um, yeah, it's really, really damn good. Really, really good. 3.4. I'm pretty sure that was the friend as well. So, like, he was rainbowed. So, like, I was like, I definitely want to keep this guy on rotation. He's just so much damage. And he has type advantage. And he does double supers. Like, oh, boy. This unit is ridiculous. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm not even running, like, a good linking buddy with him. 
I could have easily brought, brought the into Vegito, but the only reason I didn't was purely because I knew this stage was uh, physical. I was like, well, what was the point of that? Like, he's just going to get absolutely trolley whopped. And I already got an int unit in the, the West Kai. No. Supreme Kai. Kibito Kai. And Pickleboo dodges, and then it's GG from here. Now, since I saw Kibito Kai, I was like, well, okay, well, this is over because I'm just putting the first slot. We can get the dodge. Uh, we can get the. Guaranteed stun, and it's all gonna be hunky dory. But Vegeta's like, nah, boy, I'm sending out like 40 attacks in the first slot. Literally. 40 attacks. Look at them all. I think there's like four there. One, two, three, four. So I'm 90% sure we put Gohan in the front here. Yeah, because then we can get those red orbs for the Goku and Vegeta. And then we can get the stun with Kibito Kai, and if it even gets to the Kibito Kai, like, it's game over the next turn, because we have the Dock and Toe. So, this team is just, like, incredibly, incredibly strong. Um, it is fairly duped out as well, like, so, not to be, not to be, like, expected, not to be... Not expect, expected that this team could do the no item run. Having this Kibito Kai, this unit right here, uh, on any team that is trying to no item any of these stages. Like, I might try and do Patara as well, actually. Yeah, I like he might do that now. Um, oh, hang on. I want to watch this. You are number one. Beautiful. Such a cool active skill. And then let's get the boo transformation off because like he's got a pretty terrifying active skill as well. And like when he gets Buhan, he's pretty incredible. So let's do that. Alright, so now it's just basically GG, and I cucked up here, like, I should have just, I should have given the ultra attack to the Vegeta, and just given him the docking attack in slot 1, but, no. I could have given it to the Boo Tanks as well, like, but I gave it to this Vegeta, like, low-key, he has been the MVP. The friend won more than mine, but, like, mine's still 79%, which is still fairly, incredibly strong. Um... But he's been the MVP, so I figured... Well, I just wasn't thinking he wanted to do it, to be honest. But it was probably the right move in terms of just, like... Playing, like, actually thinking while playing. But we get a crit and we don't kill, so we use this. And it's just that attack that is so monstrous. Holy... And then the Goku finishes it off there. So, there you guys go. That was the Margin Boost Saga uh, Super Battle Road Run. No items. Yo! So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with more Dragon Ball Docking Battle content I post, make sure to hit the big red subscribe button too. But guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Lights!